Made it through winter, and this is the best start to spring that I've ever had. I went through a lot of colonies today, and I found one that didn't have a queen, so I took my smallest colony, happened to be number seven, gave them queen number seven. So I'm down to 94 colonies, and I've got maybe 12, 15 colonies I gotta keep an eye on, but the rest of them are just growing so fast that I'm gonna have to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out every other hive and move them to another location for about a month to take advantage of the tree pollen and then the end of April just before I do splits I'm gonna move them back and I'm gonna spread them out on my property and I'm gonna do my splits I should end up with 200 or more hives colonies those that are queenless and those that are queen right but I gotta say I'm not bragging I'm being honest this is the best start to the season, the spring season I've ever had. Just look at all the bees in the front of the hive. It's March 21st. There's a few colonies out here that are small. I gotta keep an eye on, especially the smaller hives here, the, the mediums. Let me show you the others. Here's another group. You got a lot of people on YouTube that are trying to tell you that bee barns are the way to go and that you should insulate your hives for winter. Nobody talks about the toxic chemicals the crop farmers are putting in the environment. If you really want to help these bees get these toxic chemicals removed, banned from the United States, if you need to watch a documentary that will help convince you, The Pollinators is a good documentary. A lot of commercial beekeepers are in that documentary. And they admit the chemicals are causing the most problems. And the thing about the United States is they will keep using a chemical until it's proven harmful, whereas Europe will not use a chemical until they're sure that it's safe to use. That's the big difference. So you are being contaminated with toxic chemicals and you may end up getting cancer and there's a reason why because the rich people make a lot of money when you go to the hospital for your your treatment to get rid of cancer. And these bee supply companies are making a lot of money with these varroa mite treatments because beekeeper loses the colony during the winter. He thinks, oh, it's the varroa mites. It may not be the varroa mites. It may be the toxic chemicals in your hives. I don't have those papers with me, but I'll get those papers. And I've got six colonies in the windows of my house, and I got three on the deck. And I've got three colonies over here. In between all these deeps, I'm getting set up for my mating nukes. Um, if you don't know about my videos and my insulated fillers, well, I guess I'll have to show you. All right, this is uh, one of my insulated fillers. I put two in the hive, one on each side, three inches of foam insulation board. And then I put five frames in there. That way, if I have a bunch, well, they're nukes, but they're not in a nuke box. If I have a bunch of them side by side, I don't have to worry about having room for a larger hive because they're already in a, a standard hive. You guys that are using a bunch of nuke boxes side by side, and I understand people that are selling queens, they'll do that. But if you're not selling your queens and you put a bunch of your nuke boxes side by side and you get a bunch of queens, you got to figure out how you're going to get them all into these into these hives without moving them away from where they were. So it's kind of ridiculous to have a bunch of nuke boxes anyway when you when you, all you need is your hive, your standard hive. So anyway, what I was talking about, I know firsthand that the toxic chemicals are causing the most harm. I've actually had state of Michigan inspector come out and take samples and then they tell me, yes, my bees died from a crop farmer. It was 150 yards south of me because he was out there planting on the windy day, May 19th, and I saw him out there early in the morning. I came back around noon and my bees were coming out of the hives dying, my nurse bees. So that inspector took samples and a month later she told me, yep, they died from the chemicals that crop armor used. And then a month after that, here we are now, early August, State of Michigan sent me a letter here 
and they said it wasn't windy that day and they said my bees went over there to that field picked up the toxic chemicals the government's corrupt so i know firsthand the worst thing for your honeybees is the toxic chemicals and the government's not going to help you because your government is basically owned by the corporations whoever has the most money has the most control of our government so if we got rid of these toxic chemicals our hives or our colonies would do better it's not the varroa mites that are causing the most problems, but these beekeeping supply companies, they want you to believe it's the varroa mites. They want to sell a bunch of treatments for varroa mites. They make a lot of money. I use acetic acid. I don't spend a lot of money beekeeping. I only treat for bees or treat varroa mites in the fall. I don't treat in the spring because I can get rid of most of them in the fall and winter. And during the summer when the commercial beekeepers come back, and that's the other thing, if you guys have stopped, taking bees across the state lines quarantine our bees we could control these veromites but no you guys love that pollinating money and you all bitch about the toxic chemicals if you want to do something about it do a pollinating strike pay your bills for a year ahead of, ahead and take one year off and don't do any pollinating of these corporate farms you, you could get something done in this country but no you guys don't want to do anything nobody listens to me so here I am trying to keep honeybees and I got to put up with all this shit in the environment. I've actually been out in my yard and actually smelled or inhaled chemicals from farmers in the distance. Okay. And my wife had a double mastectomy. me. She's lived here for 30 years. I blame the chemicals and our water is probably not safe to drink. Okay. These chemicals are using don't go away. All right. They're in the environment forever. All right. So that's my biggest issue, the toxic chemicals, and nobody else on YouTube complains about it but me. All right? Thank you.